and I'm coming to you with another math video. In this video, I will do a review on the good and the beautiful math, which is the curriculum that we are using this year with two of our children. And before I do that, I will briefly show you some of the other resources that we pull from. And I won't go into depth in any of these or do a walkthrough on any of these right now because I want to keep this video pretty short. Uh, but if there is anything that you'd like to see, I can always do a video specifically on that curriculum. So this is Matthew C. and it comes with a ton of manipulative blocks. This is Right Start Math. And <clears throat> there's a lot of things to pull from with Right Start Math. They use probably the most manipulatives out of any of the programs and it's very parent intensive. The abacus is one. They're very heavy users of the abacus in the earlier levels. Math Mammoth, this is just a straightforward, traditional, basic math program. This is Moffat Girl, and there's a ton of different levels for that. And there's also activities that you can print out and put together. Montessori Math, which we love Montessori stuff and do a lot of that for not only math, but language arts as well. That's the traditional. This is a newer, more modern type of Montessori program shower. And this is the well-trained mind. And these are just ways to help math facts stick. And they have them for each math operation. And we also use a bunch of supplemental games and activities from Lakeshore. And that's just some of them. I'm sure there are other things, uh, but I just pulled up a couple of, pulled a couple of things off of the shelf to show you, which is what I do regularly. If there's something that I want to reinforce, I'll just pull something off of the shelf and go to the section or the area that I'd like to. So this is the good and the beautiful. It comes with math boxes. So you can see I have two of them here and I use this with two of my children and the clock here broke off on one because children are just rough on things sometimes, but it's okay because I have a lot of other clocks that I use. This one actually my dog broke off, but I have a bunch of these. So there's no problem with just using an extra clock, you know, if that, if that happens to you. So I will show you the inside of the math box. And this one's a little, it's been beat up a little bit, but you can see that it comes with money and coins. It comes with little, with little metal toys, which are actually things that they use for games in it. Uh, these are different dice. This is a fraction dice. And another one for fractions. This is a 10-sided dice. And they have some number tiles. So each level will come with a different math box. And I could just show you the beginning of this particular level. With the good and the beautiful products and curricula items in genu general is that they're very beautiful and very colorful. So you could see this is the beginning of a second level math book and 
it reviews some things with simple addition and subtraction and spelling the words and using a lot of place values. And this is one of the games. They use games all throughout. This was another game using some of the metal uh, airplanes in the middle of the book. They're doing more stuff with money and fractions, a lot of time telling, logic and reason, measuring, more place value. So it really covers pretty much everything that you would need for they do love this workbook because it's engaging and it has the games with it and it has the manipulative box, but we also have other manipulatives that we use as well. And this is the answer key. So if you're helping your child, you don't have to look over their shoulder. You could sit with your book and everything, all the pages this are here. This is the third grade level. So this one is the third grade box. It comes with a whiteboard on one side. It comes with months of the year, different things for temperature, and it has a grid on the back. And this is all like a whiteboard thing so that you can erase it. It comes with shapes, a tape measure, measuring cubes, measuring the answer key. And it works the same way with all of the pages in a miniature version. So that all you have to do is turn to whatever page your child is working on and you can help them through it if they need it. But there's a lot of independent work and the independent work is great because it's designed for the child to work independently if you need to help other children. So this is not as parent intensive at all as something like Right Start Math would be. Right Start Math, particularly in the earlier levels, is not very everything parenting. works for every family. Not everything works for every child. One child may love it, the other child may not. So you use whatever works best for not only your family, but each individual child as well. So I'll show you the beginning of this book. It reviews some of the three place addition, some number lines, place values, and it goes into measuring and changing from inches to feet to yards to miles. A lot of money review and fractions and again, more logic and reasoning. And here there's some fraction tiles, some clocks, some measuring. And I will just show you the table of contents so you could just see what they're reviewing. You could always take a little snapshot of that if you want, but this is all on their website too, <clears throat> as far as the table of contents and some sample pages. So you could always go over there and take a look for yourself. But you know, they go through numbers up to 10,000s, rounding, multiplication, subtra subtraction with regrouping is reviewed, two-step story problems, measuring, telling time, counting and adding money, and it goes on and on and on. Story problems, a little bit of geometry, Roman numerals, coordinating planes. So they really cover a lot. But again, if there's something that you want to hone in on, or if you want to focus on a little more, then you can always pull from some of your other resources. So that is the good and the beautiful, and we are enjoying it this year. Last year, we were using more of Math Mammoth, but it is very plain, basic. It's going to cover, it solidly covers all of your math skills, but the children seem to thrive on something that's a little bit more exciting. So this is what we're using. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. And I'd love to hear what you guys are using.